Hey everyone, today I'm going to be moving Obi Dragon Bloods, Malarai Chidunga Rock Sunshines, and Albino Red Suns onto a new bigger grow bat. They're getting kind of crowded in the tanks they're in now, so I'm going to move them and let them grow that last inch or two before I sell them. So, let's get started. This first tank is the Obi Dragon Bloods. These are in a 75 gallon, and I got a, about 110 in there. Average size is around two and a half inch, so they're definitely getting kind of crowded. Um, for, gr for growing, best growing, they definitely need a bigger tank. Right. So I've got a few that are a little too big to go in with the other ones. They kind of had a growth spurt, those males. The few dominant males from each batch used to grow the quickest. So I'm going to pull those out, put them with the bigger batch of Obi Dragon Bloods I had um, that are a few months older. And then there's a few runts in there that are small. I'm going to take those out too and move them to a smaller, younger batch I have. So let's see. These are all good. Yeah, there's one of the runts there. He's only about an inch and a half. Yeah, there's one. There's one. Very common to have runts like this. Um, you get that with any species. Especially when they're not really meant to have this many survive this late in life. It's in the wild. If uh, a female threw off 50, should be lucky if one even survived the dolphin. The runts usually get picked off pretty quick in the wild. But in captivity, you can nurture them a little more and get them to survive and thrive. All right, so here is one of the dominant males that had a little growth spurt. He's a little too big um, to put with those. Some of the other fish are gonna be adding in, into that that are a little smaller um, so I don't really want to stress them out keeping them all around the same size especially when you're mixing fish is really good um, to, uh, so they don't get picked on that guy's small it's fine first off so they don't get picked on one species if it's bigger than the other they're gonna really stress out any other um, species in there Especially if there's one more passive species in there. Like these are usually a little more dominant and aggressive, so I definitely do not want the biggest males in that tank to be of this species. That's why you let them all average around that size. There's going to be really no dominant males, only a few subdom males. So nobody's going to come out of the gate trying to dominate the whole tank. Move that guy. It's pretty big. And like I said, this is a 75 gallon. Um, it works great for uh, what is 
that. Hmm. Works great for uh, growing out or breeding. But uh, for grow out, if you want to get them to big, bigger, let's say three to four inch when they really start coming up, like those males in there. These are the three to four inch size, but if you want to get all the fish to that size or a little bigger, you definitely need to keep uh, at most 50 in there for best growth. There was about 110 in here. Um, so yeah, they're, they're getting too crowded. They really slow down their growth if they're in a tank. Crowded, not, not as much uh, swimming room, swimming area. That's why when I put them in the uh, the vats, a lot of these species have like an inch growth spurt and one month. Like in here, they only grow about half an inch until they get a little crowded and they slow down to about a quarter inch a month. But yeah, I guarantee it's a month after I move these guys, they're gonna have an inch growth spurt. That's what happened with the Obi Luandas I moved uh, a few videos back. I moved them to a vat and in the video, they're only like two and a half inches. And yeah, I had males three and a half inches in a month. Alright, this is the last two. Alright, so most of these actually aren't consider runts they're just not grown as fast this is what you consider a runt it just has not grown like at all and like that one there these are just slowing just growing a little slower usually the females the females yeah um, but yeah this is the average size in there on the two and a half inch mark and then those will be going into a tank with bigger ones tank with smaller ones and then these will go in the new vet and I'll show you guys where I move those. So the uh, smaller ones are going to go in this tank. As you can see, that better suits their size. So let me turn off the air real quick. We're down in that room. And then uh, also something to think about if you're just growing fish and you want to get males as big as you possibly can, the fastest, uh, best way is to instead of mixing like what I'm about to do, give each one their own vat. If you're just trying to do this as a hobbyist um, for fun um, and you've got the room and you only breed like one or two species, just get a few of these vats and like throw that whole entire batch that I just showed you into a uh, into a vat and they will grow crazy crazy fast you can get them to, uh, to double or triple in size in two to three months let's do these first these are going to get this whole vat along with the uh, chidungas and about a red sun I'm going to quick count on these guys while I'm acclimating them now all these tanks are pretty close in uh, temperature and the exact same pH, um, KH, GH, water hardness. So I'm just uh, acclimating for temperature real quick. Even though it's only it's only about two degrees off, maybe the 75s are a little warmer than the baths.
about 10 came out, no, 15. Okay, let's get started. Eighty to ninety. Let's do these guys. Yeah, these guys will fit in just nice. There you go. Can't even tell which ones I put in there now. And then for the bigger males, and these are ready for sale. Um, they're already in my large size racket. And as you can see, they definitely fit in with this batch. I went through this tank in one of my last videos where I, I showed off my uh, Obi Dragon Blood group in their grouts. But yeah, all these fish in here are around three, three and a half inches. All right. One tank done. Let's put these buckets back. going to do the uh, Chidenga tank now. They're over here. Let me turn off the air. These are going to end up turning into a new breeder group. So uh, part of the reason why I wanted to put them in a vat was so I can get them to grow quicker. Um, get the females bigger because I've already got males cleared up ready to breed. Um, and then I'll, once they're a lot bigger, double in size, I'll pluck out two or three nice males and then put them with the, the females in a 75 gallon. The, uh, the vat is just for growth. I wouldn't dedicate a whole vat just for uh, breeding these. There's a young male. I've got a, a full car male in here. Oh, I missed him. Missed him again. Come back and find him. Yeah, so these guys average that about the same size as the other ones I just moved, the Obi Dragon Bloods. But if we have any runs in here, I'm going to leave them. Because I don't have any other tanks of these. There's the dominant male. See, look at that. About two and a half inches. And uh, they see full color for a size. Nice fins. You can see they're pointed. Nice blue face. Yellow, orange body. Exactly what you're looking for with the species. And these are Mallory Chenunga Rock Sunshines. Sorry if the camera is getting blocked with this 2x4. Bottom 40s aren't the best for videos, but there should be about 50 in here.
almost done. There's four more. I think that may have been it. Yeah, I believe so. Alright, perfect. That saves me a little time. That that took longer. Turn off the air so you can see them again. And they were in a 40 gallon. There's about 50. So, if you want to grow out peacocks in a 40 gallon, uh, you only want to put around 20 or so. In my opinion, if you want to get them to three, if you want to get them to like four inch, I'd say. This was definitely too many to get them any, uh, any bigger, much faster. And then when you're mixing peacocks, be very careful on which ones you mix. Do not mix species that you can confuse the females for. So, you wouldn't want to mix these with bengas um, or any other peacock that the females look very similar. But, yeah, like bicolors, regals, Megara flame tail. A few like lemon jigs and eureka reds, they tell a difference, but still, it's not really worth it. And you do not want to be mixing up the females and then selling the females as one species, and then that's wrong. But so, the OBs are going to all have blotches, obviously. These are all going to be that standard plain color looking female. And then the albino red suns are going to be albino. So there's no way I can mix any of those species up with each other. That will allow me to uh, go back through in a few months and uh, know which species is which. I'll probably go back in in another two to three months when I got more room and pluck out my brooder group of these guys. I definitely want to braid them, they're really nice. And I'll pull that dominant male you saw and then the uh, next two males that have the nicest color. But I'm getting there, one more tank to go. Let me turn up the air real quick. This is going to be the Albino Red Suns. They're in a 75 gallon. I stopped stripping my uh, my Brita group for a while because there was I was just getting too many. Um, but I waited too long in between uh, batches, so the uh, I don't have anything between this size and that size so I'm trying to get these guys to grow a little quicker put them in a bigger tank that way it's not so long after I sell those before I have new ones ready so in this tank I have a lot of runts too definitely runts they're uh, just not growing really so I'm gonna move those Got some beautiful males in here already. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. A bino red sun, a fish we created. That's what we're going for right there. Lots of yellow. Here's some of the itty bitty guys. I got a smaller tank with them around that size, so it's going to be perfect. Even these that are just smaller, not runs, I'm going to move to. I'm out as well. And there's a few that look different here. Those are Bond Tower and Reefs. You'll see one here in a second. I had a batch of like five or ten, so I didn't want to give them their own tank. But there's a little male already starting to color up. 
Yeah, some of these guys just aren't gonna grow, but I'll put them in the other tank just to give them a shot. Any that don't grow, I just put in my pond outside. And they'll survive there. Quite a few males in here. Yeah, they're definitely gonna have a growth spurt once I put them in that, uh, that bat. So, yeah, look at that. These guys are already around three inches, so. I'm just trying to get them about half inch bigger before I sell them. Man, that is tiny. Nice male over here. Yeah, that's a really nice one. They're really nice now. He's probably big enough to sell. Oh, but let him get a little bigger. Why not? They'll be ready to be sold within a month. Definitely. And in this tank, I wrote about 100, but with all the runs I have, I probably got close to. 125. These are probably all females. Just not growing that fast. The problem is when the bigger ones out just have a little growth spurt and outgrow those, they start hawking all the food. And the little ones don't get to eat as much, so it keeps them smaller. That's why moving them to a tank with smaller fish really helps them out. Let's them catch back up. Come on, I have the last two. Here we go. Last two. Alright. Just move over here. First, I'm going to show you where these guys are going. This batch is just a few uh, months younger. So, they're going to do much better in this tank. And you can tell in this tank, I already got some stunners. Those are around two inches. That guy is about inch and a quarter, inch and a half at most. That guy's about inch and three quarters. Really nice smell right there.
these guys are gonna need a new tank soon. Probably 125 in here. Alright, let's move those last ones and we'll be done. I have males of these in the website right now. Albino red sun peacock. They get a lot of yellow, orange, and white. And some even get some red in them. Ninety-five. Yeah, I definitely had more than a hundred in that tank. They're getting a bit crowded. Let me get the marker. I'm gonna write down the numbers, the names, and we'll uh, be done. All right, about a red sun, five thirty. Average it out at a hundred. Check the date on the OB Dragons. Five twenty-two, so about the same date as the Abano Red Jones. So they're all about seven months old. Yeah, seven months. And I think I said ninety. Ninety. Alright. So that's about 240 fish onto a bat. The key thing is, even if you're giving them the same gallons as if they're all separated, like you got a 75 plus a 75, so you're 150 plus 40, so you're at about 200 gallons um, of aquariums compared to a 250 gallon bat. Um, they still, even if it was a 200 gallon bat, they all have a lot more shrimping space now. So they're gonna they're gonna definitely grow faster. Yeah, all around two and a half inches. Probably do an update on these guys in a month or two when they 
they have a bit of a growth spurt. But I'm sure they will grow fast. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed.